more natural disasters, record-breaking heat, pollution in our water sources. The climate is changing, and Erie News Now will break down the science and background of those changes in an upcoming special. You can watch our climate change show on Thursday, October 26 at 7.30 p.m. One area that show will look at is electric vehicles, and our Kara Jeffers will be leading that story, so of course she had some homework to do. Uh, Kara, tell us what it's like to drive that electric vehicle in 2023. Tracy, good morning. It is quite the fun experience. Actually, it drives pretty much like a regular car, except it does accelerate very quickly, if you've heard that before. But I'm going to give you a little sample. I am already sitting inside. You need your keys if you're going to turn this baby on. And I'm going to show you what kind of happens when you go for that. So if you press the brake, and there's a little power button right here that I'm going to press, and everything is a go. A big thing with electric vehicles that have always kind of kept people nervous from making that investment is range anxiety. They're worried if I want to drive to Pittsburgh or anywhere else, can I really make it that far with having, without having to like charge up for eight hours? Um, this vehicle is very aware of that. If we're looking at the screens, it automatically shows me how many miles do I have left until I need to charge up. There's this little car here that it shows you. It's like, all right, I have 77% mile uh, battery left. Um, and they're like with 199 miles. If you click on that, it actually expands. You can see there's 199 miles if I keep the heat on and then 219 miles if I keep the heat off. So with the battery, you only have that one source of power. You kind of have to choose how you're going to use the power, which goes into that driver economy. Another really cool thing, if you click this little button, it shows you all of the charging stations that are nearby. So these are just some of those like electric specific features. Obviously, lots of new cars come with lots of fancy bells and whistles. So that's what we've got right here this morning. I can't. You know, Kara, I understand rage anxiety is a big thing. That would be my concern going into this, but is there a practical way to like solve that concern? Yeah, so we're actually here at the Walmart on Peach Street and there are superchargers uh, that can charge this car's battery in about an hour. And I think it is a question of, do we have the infrastructure to get those properly placed around the entire country? And it is, that's an hour uh, extra in your drive time. You know, are you driving across the country? Or are you driving to just Philadelphia and factoring that into things? But I think it is possible to make that um, manageable for a road trip. We'll see how infrastructure continues to expand in the future though. And coming up, I'm gonna show you how to charge it. So back to you.